What would happen if we filled the entire Goldilocks zone with Earths? All right, let's find out. I placed multiple Earths each slightly farther from the Sun. Because of their positions, each Earth takes a different amount of time to complete an orbit. Let's fast forward the simulation a few hundred years and see what happens. First, the closest Earth in the habitable zone. Its average temperature rose to 43 degrees Celsius, way too hot for most ecosystems. The polar ice caps melted, South America dried out, and even all of Australia turned into a desert. Its habitability dropped to just 75% due to heat stress and water scarcity. Now to the farthest Earth. This one is completely frozen, with an average temperature of minus 66 degrees Celsius. Still, it managed a surprising 75% chance of supporting life. The Earth placed right in the middle of the zone tells a different story. With a cooler average of 5 degrees Celsius, ice expanded at the poles, and Europe became snow-covered year-round. But the planet remained stable and Earth-like, with a 99% similarity and 91% chance for life. Even within the so-called habitable zone, not all positions are created equal, just a little closer or farther, and the world becomes a very different place. 